Gaming. What's going on guys, Zed and I here bringing you a Call of Duty World War 2 video. Now if you're like me, you want to go for these challenges. You want to get the camos, you want to get the diamond, and then go for that elusive chrome camo that you don't really see a lot of, but it has been seen, it has been found, it is in the game. And <laughs> I try to do the more challenging weapons first. Um, I mean, actually, I got snipers done first. I, I enjoy the sniping. I wanted to see what that was like. But I went to shotguns next, okay? Shotguns, to me, has always been complicated. I mean, the fact that you got to go for bloodthirsties, but you always have to be very, very close range with your opponents, which makes it very, very difficult at times. And especially since it seems like the shotguns in this game um, <laughs> are hit marker machines. Um, first thing you want to do, though, and there's a couple tips and tricks that I've got for you, um, at least for the first two shotguns. Um, they kind of apply to the rest of them as well. But when you're running the combat shotgun, just go for the steady aim. Um, that's really going to help concentrate your shots, which is really good. And I would recommend running the, I think it's Hustle if you want a fast reload, but actually it's the uh, Gunslinger. Being able to fire while you're sprinting helps tremendously. But with that, I'm also going to re recommend you run Hardcore Domination. Do it. You're not there for the score streaks. You're not there for the win. I hate to say that. It's always good to win, but... The fact that the range gets extremely buffed on all shotguns. The combat shotgun wasn't as hard, but damn, did it get difficult when I got to the double barrel um, shotgun itself, the second one. I have not tried the sawed off yet. I have not unlocked it. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a pain in the butt as well. But if you run the gunslinger, if you run into somebody while you're sprinting, they have no chance. Like, you've got the range. You, as long as you put, like, at least a pellet, they're going to go down. The other thing you want to do is... When you're running Hardcore Domination, it's, it's really good to get your one-shots. But when you start getting to the Bloodthirsties, run the, uh, what's it called? The uh, Rifle Bullet Attachment. That is going to save your life and make, it's going to make everything way more easy. It's going to be way easy. The fact that, I think the Rifle Bullet doesn't actually count for your one-shot kills, so you can't do it that way. But for your Bloodthirsties and such, um, that's really going to help out, the fact that you can do that. I think for the Bloodthirsties for the Double Barrel Shotgun, though, don't be afraid to jump back into core for that because that Rifle Bullet is really going to help. And that, and since you're not looking for one-shot kills, the double, the, the, the quick rapid fire double shot is going to help out tremendously as well. Um, it is still going to be stressful. It's going to be time consuming. But using those tips are really going to make things a lot more simple down the road. Um, I'll let you know an update as soon as I unlock the Sawed Off Shotgun. I think that's going to be terrible as well. I don't think it has the rifle bullet attachment. If it does, thank goodness. If not, that's going to be extra rough. Um, on that side note as well, the toggle shotgun, I don't see that one being a problem. I, I don't think it's going to be. It's like the combat shotgun. You've got all those shots. On hardcore, you're still going to get easy one shots. But if you have any comments, let me down below. Um, other than that, good luck to you. Shotguns are a pain in the ass. Anyway, guys, my name is Knight, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.